All right, we're back for round number three. Um, that was a good game, Jimmy. <laughs> that was that awesome was game. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good game, just like the old days. Mm-hmm. So we got uh, Suzanne Schaff playing Polystall <laughs> versus World Championship Flygon EX Legend Maker. Yep. We got Dwayne Andrew Schoenberg Wayne. running that one. This should be an interesting matchup, as uh, mm-hmm. I'm not sure either of the players are familiar with the decks they're about to play. <laughs> So we can uh, rest assured there will be mistake after mistake on this one. It's okay, though. It's a learning process. Yeah. I mean, um, Polystyle is pretty straightforward. I know uh, John Silvestro, a good friend of mine, used to play it down in Florida way back in the day. Uh, He claimed he perfected the deck. I don't know. I mean, (laughs) I love John and all, but... uh, I mean, he could play 59 energies in a in a cast form, and that deck would be perfect too. So, <laughs> and somehow he would manage to win, which is funny. Right. <laughs> oh, putting cast form to sleep, turn one. Oh man. Yeah, I think um, the list. Grump pig stall may be better than <laughs> poly stall since it, since it's uh, stage one versus a uh, stage two. However, <laughs> grump pig <laughs> does go down a little bit easier yep. than the big fat. Poly, poly world. Big so. fat, 150 HP. I think. Yep. Right on stage two. Man, look at those e-reader cards. They're so beautiful. They are. Apparently that cool. deck runs a switch. Mm-hmm. So Flygon. Let's see what we got here. So Flygon EX Legend Maker. Uh, I would have looking at the deck list. They run two Macargo, two Needle Queen. I would imagine they'd want to set up Needle Queen as quickly as possible. Yep. To to set up. Um, right. It runs four cast thing. form, so I'm I'm assuming the the standard uh, the uh, delta home. draw yep. delta draw yep delta draw engine is what's gonna allow this thing to operate. Don't know much about this deck personally. Um, this is the year I went Owen drunk at World, so I didn't get to play against it. Uh, all I know is that it won. Yeah. And um, don't know how it works, why it won, how it won, what the matchups were good against. It, it just looks like a solid hard hitter that doesn't really that wasn't really hard countered by any of the other decks, I feel. Yeah, it's weak to colorless, which is good because a lot of the top decks are, you know, Infernape, Empoleon. Mm-hmm. Um, you had Lucario EVs. Absolutions was, was uh, a thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure just the 40 plus 30, you can get over anything if you had to. Uh, the deck does run... Three react energy, uh, four boost, a one lightning energy. Yep. Two war point, one switch, two giant stomp. I'd imagine that's for prize denial more than anything. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, uh, Mariana, thank you for the correction. I, I do believe it got second. The, I think Absol- uh, Absolutions, Absolutions did Absolutions win. Won. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a I had a cocktail or two <laughs> at that world. So. <laughs> That was yeah. easily one of the most fun world championships I think I've ever been to. <laughs> I mean, 05 was really good because they used to do the uh, the player meetings where they would have the dinner laid out for everyone. Oh, that's nice. And uh, then they switched it over to an ice cream social, mm. which was kind of awkward. But, I mean, who doesn't like ice cream, right? Yeah, so free ice cream. I know in 2005 we went to Worlds in California, and I brought my entire family and, uh, you know, at the time we had four teenage girls oh. and uh, they got to meet William Hung and they were just in their glory. <laughs> it was the <laughs> best thing they had ever seen. They're like, William Hung. Yeah, 07 uh-huh. was definitely in Hawaii. Definitely in Hawaii. So I went 0-3 and, and went in, out to the pool. Since we were in Hawaii, I just dropped and left the tournament, went out to the pool because, hey, I mean... It's Hawaii, bro. We are in Hawaii, <laughs> right? I could either sit at the bottom tables and talk with uh, people I don't necessarily know, or I can go out by the pool in Hawaii mm-hmm. and get sunburned and have a cocktail or 12. So <laughs> it was pretty fun. All or nothing. I was definitely yep. winning. <laughs> definitely winning. Yep, for sure. So Dwayne finishing off his turn with Delta Draw, solid. Um, Suzanne, great balling for a Corsola. Um, pretty good. 
I'm Pretty surprised he didn't drop him a uh, slugma. Yeah, I'm, there. Not, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I, I would have liked to, to see Suzanne actually attach to the Corsola and retreat. Yeah. Um, to to in order for Corsola to search for for Pokemon. Um, yeah, because Corsola searches out anything, right? I think it's any a water? water Pokemon. Yeah. Any so, water or fighting, I'm pretty sure. Yes, water or fighting. So I mean, by that Suzanne can just set set up behind the Corsola and. Um, Get that polytoad up and running, but yeah, well, here we she's... are. <laughs> here, there's only two two energies in the deck <laughs> that are both attached <laughs> to Poliwag. Yep. That's great. Have yeah. that's all for us. Yeah, we're gonna order food here shortly too. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I forgot I was online there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Xander needs to eat. We gotta feed him. Yep. <laughs> Xander is one hungry boy. All right, so what do I got here? So Dwayne, Holon, Transceivering for the Holon Adventurer. Um, just, you know, getting some more solid draw, setting himself up. Um, unfortunately, as probably mentioned before, the hand cameras are... Um, they were just too glitchy, uh, so unfortunately we can't get a good view of the hands today. But days on, well, days on the fritz. Days yep. on the fritz today. Oh, ooh, there we go. So he got the rare candy and the flygon, and uh, does he know what the Pokemon I don't know. I mean, do? I don't think so. He could have. He has researcher I in hand. Think yeah. Like, he could have went researcher into the needle queen and just started hard evolving. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and uh, definitely some of like flygon EXs. Um, Poke Power is pretty good. Like it, it just gets two energies, not just basic. It's any energies from discard pile. So yeah, when you play it from your hand. So mm -hmm. so that was premature evolution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> premature evolution on, on Dwayne's part there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And and if there was a Nidoqueen Queen out, um, Dwayne could just even manually evolve into Vibrava and then yeah, start doing on, you know. And not only that, Needle Queen was a fairly solid attacker mm -hmm. back in these days as well. For sure. Um, Especially with things like like uh, boost energy and scramble energy. Yeah, exactly. I think it did a uh, cap at 90 damage, if still, I remember correctly. Yep, so still, I mean, that's uh, still very solid. Well, looks like Suzanne has the energy to punch and run. Um, able to hit this cast form for 40. Um, unfortunately, the Battle Frontier will prevent Dwayne from um, using another Flygon EX's uh, Poke Power, um, it, and it also Can blocks Metal Shulker? and Dark as well, right? So yes, even if it you does. Got, so even if you got Nido Queen out, um, the Battle Frontier would also prevent right. that. Yeah, that's that's crazy because that's little known that Battle Frontier stops Umbreon EX. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh. All right. Um, so she attacked with so Polytoad EX and hit the bench flag on for 50. Upward lick. Upward lick. Oh, this attack does yep. 30 damage to... to a Pokemon, and then if it's stage 2 evolved, then it does 50. Yeah. So I remember old questions on the gym used to be like, well, I rare candied it, so does it have two stages? It's a... Read it's the a... card it's stage two. <laughs> it's a stage two. A stage of course two it takes that. Yeah. That's funny. Man. That'd be wild. One of the the funniest stories I have <laughs> from the Poke Gym is uh in two thousand and six we all know that Jason Klasinski won world the mm -hmm. world championship and uh he was blessed with a uh number one Pikachu and basically the number one Pikachu mm -hmm. on the card it says the owner who possesses this card mm -hmm. has an invitation to the 2007 oh. World mm -hmm. Championship. So uh, Alex Brousseau, also known as Big Chuck, <laughs> uh, asked a legitimate question in uh, just before Nationals in 2007. Went on to ask the Masters on the Poke Gym and says, uh, so if Jason and I are playing and he plays number one Pikachu, but I have Chaos Gym out and he flips tails, can I go to Worlds instead? <laughs> 
I'm not sure how it got answered, but that was one of the best trolley questions I've ever seen in Ask the Masters. That's so good. It was so great. So good. Man, Pokéjim. Oh. Even before Pokéjim, there was Pojo. That that was old school. Yeah, Pojo is uh Pojo was more for I don't know, I want to say I, I can't say it was a younger crowd, but maybe the more elite, like more followers, that yeah, sort of thing. For um, sure. I myself didn't go to Pojo too often. Uh, I did find myself on the gym. And uh, back in the day, we had this thing called AIM, which was AOL's Instant Messenger. Oh, man. Uh, long before the Facebook days. Oh, geez. And that was still during the, the period of, what's it called, dial-up? Dial, yep, dial up or beep, beep, beep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember that? Yep. So, Dwayne coming in with reactive blast hitting for 40. Oh. Quite possibly one of the only times. Suzanne had zero cards in hand and tops a copycat for eight. Oh. oh. That's, a, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty rough. Wow. Oh, I think I think uh I think Dan just pulled up the ugliest copy of Copycat <laughs> ever made. <laughs> uh, oh man. That's super great. I'm not sure four energies are supposed to go on that monster. Swallow up for knockout. Sw swallowed up, swallow for up for knockout. Oh man, yep, yep, it does one hundred twenty. That's pretty good. Um, also, Suzanne has to take two prizes. Suzanne. Two prizes. Take two prizes. Before doing damage, count the remaining hit points the defending Pokemon. Palatoid EX. Yep. The defending Pokemon has fewer. It does 120 damage instead. Wow. wow. That's a tank. That thing's going to get rolling here. Oh, yeah. I, why do you need a punch and run? We can just swallow up. Right. Bro. I guess that's why hitting the Politoed was important, getting 40 on it. Mm -hmm. So now anything 110. Mm -hmm. But even still, like Needle Queen is, Needle Queen is only 100 hit points, yep. and I don't think it runs regular Flygon. It's just the Flygon EX. So I think it's just Flygon EX. I guess just straight upward lick. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you just, I mean, can't she just control the bench going forward? If he doesn't evolve that trap inch, it could get very bad very quick. Oh, yeah. It, it would, it it only would still be 30. 30. Yeah, it only does it 30. Okay. Um, Dwayne discarding Windstorm. I'm not sure why he discarded <laughs> Windstorm. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I mean, Flygon <laughs> has answers to Battle Frontier, like Windstorm, but um, yeah, I... I don't really agree with that discard with uh, Adventurer. Well, setting up the Macargo, I think, would be key as well to make sure yes, that you can sure. make sure that you can stay in front of Battle Frontier. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I'm up. So, um, Dwayne playing Warp Point. Um, Suzanne probably happy to bring up the Fossil or or Corsal. Corsal is also good. Um, with an energy attachment, um, Dwayne doesn't really have much going on. So with just an energy attachment, Suzanne could just keep on um, setting up or just attach and retreat. Yeah, the funny part is um, the Polystall deck runs three Curse Stone and only one Battle Frontier. <laughs> so hitting that Battle Frontier turn two was so clutch. Oh, yeah. No pun sure. intended. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so I think here I would like to see Suzanne get aggressive. Um, so just if she has an energy just to attach and retreat. Yeah, and just, just continue. Just continue to swallow up Dwayne's board. Yeah, until he evolves something that uh, can get over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe uh, Suzanne runs any, any heal cards, but, I mean, with 150 yeah, HP yeah. with Politoed, I mean... <laughs> yeah, the only thing that concerns me about Suzanne is we, we spoke to her before the game and told her it was a hit-and-run deck. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm a little leery that she may fall into that well i need to hit and run hit and run hit and run mm -hmm. instead of just getting aggressive here and knocking out the active one after one after one yeah i really hope um that uh she just use a swallow up but um i mean with with her play so far though it, it does seem that she knows yeah, that it's um beneficial to just swallow up i i, I think i think she, uh, i'd like to see her swallow, swallow up here up. 
Yep. There you go. There That's go. absolutely the strategy. Suzanne now, just now had, Dwayne. had 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 Dwayne set up any faster. Uh, I think the strategy would be completely different. Yep. Uh, you'd almost have to hit and run. Pretty um, much. But I don't see any. I mean, I only see one fossil on the bench. Mm -hmm. if, I I believe that there were ten fossils. So there were like three root, three claw, and then four mysterious fossils. Yeah, you got four claw, three mysterious, like and three root. So yeah, yep. ten, six, ten, ten total, ten. right? Yep. I mean, everyone knows that the four root fossil is the most optimal count, of course. Well, claw is the one that you take 10 when you hit it, right? Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's claw that does that. Oh, I could be pain. totally wrong, but... No, I was I, I was under the impression that all the fossils did the same thing. No, nope. um, no, they all, now, now all three bodies. of them. Yeah, all three yep. of them do different. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Yeah, put one damage counter. So claw yep. fossil, it makes sense to run four claw yep, fossil. Yeah, it does. Um, so, so, Jimmy, was, was Polycell more relevant in 06 or 07? Um... Well, I wasn't in Florida, so it was never relevant. <laughs> uh, I don't recall it ever. I mean, maybe it did well. Jeremy, do you recall Polystall in 06 or 07? No. Yeah, it, it was an early deck. It was something that was definitely played more. Uh, Probably more in 07. More in Florida. Or, or um, okay. Yeah, it had to, I, I would imagine it was 07, because I definitely don't remember seeing it in 06 at all. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kept it at bay. It's weak to grass, right? Yeah. So I don't know what it was. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible that I mean, I had my, my son and my daughter playing in the, the lower age groups. And, you know, my son ran uh, Blastoise in, in 06 and um, didn't make it to Worlds in 07. But for the most part, he ran, um, you know, in, or uh, Infernape. He ran Infernape at Nats and... Just mm -hmm. barely lost to make it into top, top. I'm pretty sure he made top four. He just barely lost to make it into oh, man. top four. So, so he made top eight. Mm -hmm. He needed a fire energy, and uh, you know he'll tell you the story till till the day's end. Mm -hmm. But uh, Vince Kreckler was the judge at his table, and uh, James needed a fire energy for the win to make it into top four. Mm -hmm. And he had something, you know, roughly eleven cards in deck, and. James went through nine of the 11 cards with Del Caddy oh, in his draw for his turn. Goodness. And his last two cards were fire energy. And oh. he missed them both and lost because of that. And then Vince Kreckler walks over and turns the next card over to show James the fire energy. At which point James just burst out in tears, crying. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Like, Jeez, thanks, Vince Kreckler. You're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Vince. <laughs> uh, that was um, pretty rough. Actually, I think Dwayne forgot to uh shuffle in a basic lightning energy but at this point it's uh it's irrelevant it's yeah. pretty irrelevant but yeah that's that's rough dude i yeah i have my share of stories too <laughs> yeah i mean that's one that i that i remember there's there's i have quite a few stories when my kids were were small i had parents dragging their kids out of tournaments because we were there and it wasn't my fault for once. Normally, it's yeah. me that people don't <laughs> want to be around. But uh, they walk in with their juniors and see that my son was there, and you know, hey, I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, they go geez. to somewhere else. So wow, those kids were monsters. That's for sure. Dang. Yeah. I mean, wow. Well, 2007 was so fun. World, right? yeah. We played. Uh, we played poker after the main event day one. Mm -hmm. I don't. <sighs> I was still dating dev at the time and mm. got back up to the room at 5 30 and she promptly woke me up at eight o'clock she's like get up it's time <laughs> to go <laughs> so yeah it was interesting times hawaii was fun we mm -hmm. went there for 10 days oh wow we had a we had a good time sounds Ooh. awesome i don't know why she just wouldn't run over the just keep taking prizes just keep taking prizes i mean i guess technically the the biggest threat is the um the trap inch but um yeah i'm just right but just, if you kill the Nidoran, down the, the, the yeah. Nidoran, right if you like, kill the nidoran here can the flagon respond with a knockout mm -hmm. no i don't think so i don't think it can do 110 it cannot do 110 it only does a maximum of one um 
what's it called 100 but i guess with two react energy it, it could be able to do 110 actually if there were um but but Dwayne would have to attach a lightning from hand as well So so here Dwayne would need so if if Suzanne knocked out this Nidoran, then Dwayne would need um, rare candy, Flygon, Lightning, and or, and some combination of Lightning like React React yeah. in his discarding hand. But um, not really sure. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. I don't know. Does that put it to 40? Uh, <laughs> Please be kind and rewind. Yep. Um, Do well, we... That's pretty good, assumes. <laughs> but see, if, if, if Suzanne knocks out the Nidoran, it forces the Trap Inch up. Like, you cannot mm -hmm. promote the Slugma. You right, can't. Right. So that puts Dwayne in a position where he absolutely has to hit Rare Candy, Flygon. Yeah, and so all of those cards, right? Right. Uh -huh. So you just immediately continued aggressive pressure right although if Dwayne does have it then um i think suzanne would be in a horrible position because like doing it this way at least suzanne softens up the flygon right while also um having the opportunity to um run away this turn right so um yeah there's there's definitely merits to both um and it's definitely riskier for sure two energy oh. cards so two energy cards cards yep so, so it, it could, could even be energy. the boost it could be the boost dang just hitting for a hundred out of nowhere <laughs> that's pretty good well if... gotta get that 40 back on that flag on yep i think i think you'll remember yep there you there you there go, you go. Oh, Jesus. Four points. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Claw Fossil? Or is that Root Fossil? If it were Claw Fossil, I it would put Flygon in range for one shot. It would. Uh, I don't know what Root Fossil does, but... Um... Yep. <laughs> Root Fossil at any time. Remove one damage counter from Root Fossil. Gotcha. Oh, that does still doesn't get there because they're both at 110. Yep. Um, it, it is good, though, because Suzanne can just hit and run. And then... No, she can't. Oh, yeah, she can now. Yeah, she she, can, she yeah. got rid of the giant stump. Yep she, yep, she got rid of the giant stump. There's a cursed stone now. So the Macargo and the Flygon will both be taking some damage. Honestly, if they brought back Delta Pokemon, that would be sick. Like, Just like the subsets were awesome. Delta uh, as a whole right. was really awesome. Yeah, seriously. That whole time, that whole playing time was fantastic. For sure. Dude, I yeah. would give anything to, to, to get back the Holland energy, uh, the Holland engine again. That was so uh, consistent. But, but, but do you think it would still be good? I don't know. There's... Uh, like... like th there, there's the question, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Delta or uh, Pidget, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green Pidget. Mm -hmm. uh, people say today that that card would not be as good because one card just doesn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I still think um, being able to search out any card at any time for <laughs> it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. it can change games. You know, having having what you need when you need it. The VS Seeker, the the Lysander, you know, whatever yeah, exactly. the case might be. And and it makes text easier to run, too. Right. So like, a lot of one of So you get into longer chess games instead of these big, oh, I'll take 150, you take 150. Rawr, I can do 500, and you can only do 300. Oh, did I miss an energy attachment on my first turn? It looks like I'm behind oh, for the whole game. It looks like Dwayne is scooping. It looks like Dwayne scoops. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> he scooped to the fossil. <laughs> he scoops to the fossil. That's the most, awesome. The that most... Uh, intimidating one. That fossil all. was so intimidating, <laughs> he forced him to scoop. Yep. That's fantastic. That was rough. That was hey, rough. the world champion somehow managed to take second. Sorry, it's not the world champion. Absolutions took the world championship yep. down, right? <laughs> okay.
So Well, that was round number three. That was, number that was three. a little quicker than we want, but we all know that uh, polystall and fossils are amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> amazing. For sure. Yeah, seriously, imagine if Alolan or Galarian Pokemon really had the support that Delta had. Like, that would be that would be pretty sick. Yeah, just the way the Halon engine worked together was fantastic, and especially the way it worked with Del- Delta cards. Just, I, I don't think we'll see anything like that again. Yeah. It would be nice, but uh, for sure. I don't see a day where something like that's are coming back. Well, video game for the Halon region. Keep on giving them ideas. Bro. Oh, we let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. So. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Round number three, we'll get to uh, round four. We only got four of the eight decks. We actually chose nine decks because there was a tie. Mm-hmm. So we actually took out, uh, put in Rambolt as well. So we got, uh, uh, we got. Sub Dota. Yeah, we got um, four decks left in, in three games. So come back, join us in uh, round number four. Yep. Thank you. Thanks.